Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I've been playing way too much Final Fantasy VII Rebirth on Twitch. Link down below if anybody wants to join me. It's been a good time. I might end up watching some anime on there at some point and do some live streams for it. But right now, it's mainly just going to be the uploads. Regardless, we got solo leveling today. Last episode was kind of crazy, at least in the way that it left off. So we have the four survivors from episode one that are all together going into a D-ranked dungeon. And they have, like, I think three or four criminals that are trying to lessen their sentence by going in here and helping them except i don't think that that's what the purpose is i feel like the criminals are there to kill them for some reason i don't know if it's because they've realized that that dungeon that they found was like something really special and they don't want word to get out so they're like we got to just get rid of these guys or what's gonna happen i mean maybe that's just like the criminal thing is is like uh to sidetrack you from what's gonna happen but Something's up. I don't I don't trust it. I don't trust the situation, but our man Jin Woo is a whole different level than they understand. So I think we're going to end up being safe. Maybe, maybe we lose somebody of the four, but I have a feeling that everybody's going to be okay and we're going to have to see how this plays out. At first, I thought maybe they were going to go in and it was going to end up being the same dungeon that they run into again. But I don't think that anymore. Ever, ever since those criminals stepped out of the car, I'm pretty sure that they're going to be there to kill them. I just can't really understand why outside of the Hunters Association realizing that that dungeon was like extra special. And so they feel like they need to kill anybody that knows about it outside of them. So let's just dive in. Let's see how it plays out. All right, so we jumping right into it. Starting to pick up on this man being a little bit different. You know what's kind of interesting is that the dungeon that they found in the very beginning had the same goblins. Now, it could just be that goblins are normal in D ranked dungeons, or it's leading me to believe that maybe they end up on a path to that same crazy dungeon connection. Okay, so this makes me think that they're not there to kill them. Because if he's going to take the prisoners down their own path, then they're completely separate from everybody else. I thought he was going to try to split the prisoners up amongst each of the three paths, thinking, okay, they're going to be able to kill whoever it is that they go with. Or he's thinking if we go down a path by ourselves, we'll just act like we're going down it, and then we'll double back kill one of the other paths and go to the other, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's less people at a time. So that might be the way that they're looking at it, or I'm just completely wrong, and these criminals aren't here to actually do anything. Yeah, I'm starting to think that they're going to kill him. I feel like the criminals are going to loop back. They're going to go to the middle one. They're going to kill those guys. They're going to be fighting the boss in the left path. And as they finish it or in the middle of fighting it, they're going to then come around and try to kill them as well. And that's when shit's really going to pop off. I don't trust that man. I can appreciate him wanting to apologize, but I really think that they're about to get killed. Okay, so maybe they didn't come in here with the intention of killing anybody. They actually were told that if they help with this dungeon, it'll lessen their time. This guy is the one that's going to set them on that path. あ、一緒一緒。男3人に娘が恥ずかしめられた。その後娘は首を吊り、それなのに奴らは数年で何事もなかったかのようにまた外に出てくる。ハンターは服役中でもレイドに参加すれば原型される層じゃないですか。ああ
oh, this man is going to go out and try to kill everybody that's in this dungeon now. Jin Woo is going to end up saving people. This is not at all what I had anticipated. I was so wrong, but I was so positive that that had to be what it is. But it makes more sense now, right? Because that guy that said, I want you to kill them all. Like, I had never seen him. So I was like, I, I don't really understand why he would want all of them dead. But it, at the same time, like, it just felt like that was what it was going to be. Now, I'm still questioning why those four were put in this dungeon together. The same people that survived. Because that still can't just be a coincidence, right? <laughs> ああ、道が繋がってたのか。おかげで迷わずに済んだ。予定は少し狂ったが。さっきの勘って仕方やつ。監視課の上司と病院に来てた。俺のことを覚えてなきゃいいんだが。そうだ。うう。しっぱつ
あいつら人一人死なせといて何の反省もないキムさんたちのことだなぜ殺したか Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much on board with him killing the criminals. I'm not going to lie to you. If they did what that guy said that they did, then I feel like pfft, shit happens, right? But as soon as you killed these other men, instead of just explaining the situation to them and seeing how they felt about it, like, shit's on you now. Jim will going to cook you. <laughs> モンスターなんかより人を殺してる時の方が楽しいんですよ<笑><笑>モンスターさすがだな何という身のこなし私の知る孫君の姿はもうスピードは互角ボーランカ相手との実戦経験の数が違うその差があんたを敗北へと導くだろう根性あるんだな悪いけどあほら見ろシステムが反応してしまっただろうあ久々にシステムに感謝するよ<笑>お前を殺さないといけない理由がもう一つできたシステムお前メイクのアリハブトリスナーレディーさらに早くなったどこかあんたの探検の効果か僕も面白いものを見せてやるよ中毒好き隠密姿音匂いのその全てを消す暗殺系のハンターでもごく一部のものしか手に入れられないスキルスピードは封印した余計な真似はするなその足で次の攻撃をかわすことはできるかないつまで喋ってんだ状態が<笑>一瞬で回復した You ain't ready, my friend. I'm not a fan of the Sentokei Hunter. 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 I'm not a fan of the s e n t o k Oh shit! Anta m o n a j i s a b o k t a c h a m o h a y a s a t u j i m a c h i n a n d a y a Anta i t a i n a n a n t a a n s a t s k e n a n o n i c h i m a h o n i t e b a h u m a t e So, what am I? Oh, my man, Jim, we gotta say is I'm daddy, bitch. That's it. <laughs> Let this man know. Moshi o r e n o Tatako Tabini Tsukuna Hunter, that was Tara. Anta no Kageboshua Yami at Tsunagatere. その深さだけ強くなれるだろうお前が深淵を覗くとき深淵もまたお前を覗いている So it looks like he might be able to accomplish stealth as well Now we got a rune stone It didn't say his skill was learned but Ability points plus five And then you have discovered rune stone stealth I'm curious if this means that he could permanently have stealth Or if it's just like a one time use 強くなるにつれ、俺の中にある何かが崩れ落ちていくような気がする。Okay, this is getting even more interesting now, right? Because it makes it seem as if it's not just about, hey, I had the second reawakening that nobody's had. I have this system that I get to work within where I continue to level up and stuff. But like he said, the stronger I get, the more I feel something inside of me falling apart. And like that man said, you're probably going to get as strong as the abyss that you're in is dark. And just remember one thing that as long as you look into the abyss, It starts to look back at you, right? So, I mean, I, I don't know exactly what that saying means, but it makes you believe that, you know, he's dealing with like unknown territory. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody's ever had this kind of an awakening before. No one's ever dealt with a system that allows you to continue to level up. And he has no idea where it comes from. Like, it doesn't mean that it comes from a good place, it could be something dark. And the further he goes down this path, you never know what it's actually gonna connect him with. Because it's like, if you can. Infinitely level up, right? At some point, you surpass S rank. Like, you, you literally become a god almost. And I feel like that comes with, you know, not to say that it, it just it comes with some tricky territory that you don't really know about and no one's ever experienced before. That is definitely his cheeks now. He ain't, he, he ain't gotta worry about it no more. That's his girl. 
さか一人でキム君たちを弔ってやれないことが気の毒だがな外で待ってます報告は聞いた生存者あちらですしかしまさかカンが誰にも気づかれず殺人を繰り返していたとはこちらの3名です<笑>彼はあの時の EQ ハンターだよカンを倒したのはどなたですかこれ以上は隠し通せそうにないか I can't remember the guy that's with him's name but I feel like he's gonna step up and say it was him because he knows that Jin Woo doesn't want this to be out there yet and he wants to probably understand a little bit better some of the stuff he said about how he gets stronger with every fight and everything like that 私です私がカンさんを殺しましたそのあなたが B 級のカンをどうやって彼女がいるではありませんかカンは B 級の中でも上位 C 級の魔法使いがどうあがいても勝てるとは思えないがでは長所を作成しなければならないのでご同行願いますあの時は分からなかったがこの人は A 級だ今の俺じゃ太刀打ちできない余計な真似をしてしまったかな君が力を隠すのにはそれなりの理由があるのだろう私なりの恩返しということにしておいてくれ3時間後カンテシクに囚人の殺害を依頼した男が自首し俺たちの正当防衛が成立した疲れましたねジェヌさんこれ覚えてますか I have no idea what it was that she was holding is it like some kind of a a prize or something that you get from dungeons? She was dressed kind of fancy. You know what I'm saying? Look, she got the low cut. She, you know what I'm saying? My man is. I'm just going to leave it at that. I want to leave it at that. All right. This was, a, this was a fun episode because I was very wrong in my prediction. It actually made it more exciting. I was convinced that they brought those three prisoners there to kill those guys. And I, I still am like curious why all four of them who had survived. Just happened to be the ones that got the call to go to this dungeon. It's just such a crazy coincidence, but it seems like that's really all it was because the entire prisoner thing had nothing to do with them. It was just this guy wanted to bring them into a dungeon and kill them because he took money from some guy. And it just happened to be the same dungeon that those four were going into. And then obviously things got a little bit crazy. But even up until the moment that he, he started to fight them, I was so convinced that they were going to be the ones to be the bad guys in that dungeon. And I'm happy that that wasn't the case because we got a way, way better fight. And we learned a little bit more about Jin Woo being that that guy was like the top tier of the B rank and he beat him. He did have a little bit of trouble for a second, but I feel like he kind of ran things, right? Like for a little while, it was kind of even. And then, you know, he took some damage, but then he just full recovered and turned on murderous intent. And then it just, it was over. It was like a cakewalk. So this man is definitely... Teetering between B and A, I would say, but he doesn't feel like he could beat that other guy who's the supervisor of Kang, which, you know, it's cool that it seems like he can kind of determine by looking at people, which means that he's got to watch his back because once this S rank guy, who I, I, I believe is S rank, right, that that's the brother of the guy that he killed originally, starts to come after him like, my man's got to have his shit together. So I don't know where we go from here. They didn't really give us like a... A cliffhanger or anything like that besides the fact that she asked him what that was which i don't know exactly what it is that she's holding it looks kind of like one of the items that they get from killing things in a dungeon or you know completing a dungeon or something like that but she says do you remember this so i'm wondering if it came from the first dungeon that they were in together if there's there's something like that about it but i, I don't know that that really leads us down any path story-wise right so From here, I'm guessing we're going to see him maybe have a conversation with the guy who stepped up and said that he was the one that killed Kang. Maybe he's going to ask him some questions or maybe he's going to kind of just let it go and just be like, hey, listen, you saved my life. I did this for you. Like, I'm not, you know, not going to press you or anything like that. It's, it's up to you if you decide you want to talk to me about it. I assume that we're going to see him level up a little bit more. I don't think that he's ready to go into that, that dungeon that Hell's Gatekeeper was blocking yet. So... We might just have like a, a setup episode where they kind of like just set some things up that are going to get crazy and then cliffhang us for the, the following episode. Maybe we'll see a little bit more from the S rank. Um, that was the brother. I can't think of his name now and see what he's thinking and where he's at and, and when he plans on trying to come after him. But I guess we also have the situation with the guild and the rich kid. I got to start remembering some of the names. I'm doing so many anime that this being once a week is not like enough for my brain to remember it. I got to I got to see it a little bit more often. So we'll see what happens. But I appreciate you guys for stopping in again. You know, I'd be live on Twitch a little bit of 
Final Fantasy VII Rebirth lately. We're almost done with it. I think I'm on like chapter 11. But I may do some anime reactions at some point in the future. I might do some live anime reactions if people are interested in that. I, I've never done it, so we'll see how it works. We'll see, you know, what we'll do if, it's, if it'll be something that we're already watching or if we'll just pick up some completely new anime or what's going to happen. But again, appreciate you guys. Patreon link down below for anybody who wants the uncensored, uncut, you know, just the full on version of everything that I react to, including a lot of exclusive stuff. I think we're about to start One Punch Man. We just finished Chainsaw Man uh, season one, which will come to YouTube at some point. But we got a whole bunch of stuff on there. So appreciate you guys. Take it easy. Stay safe. I'll catch you in the next episode, homies. I blow that flower like Mario. I keep that fire in my hand. Smoking so much, it's like all I show. I don't think they understand. I blow that flower like Mario. I keep that fire in my hand. I just be rolling, that's all I know. I don't think they understand. I just be rocking the boat. Got me a bop in a hole. I'm locked in the coast. I got me a shot and I know. So everything I drop is cold. I be like, who want to blow on an L? We hit the hotel. A couple of bitches, a little Ciroc. Got one of my niggas. We feeling the vibe. It's comfortable, Pimpin'. Woo!